Hello everyone, this is Christoph here from Intex Studio and this video is based on a user request. Somebody wants to use this module as an Ableton set controller. The first row is going to be send A, send B the second row, pan, volume, then we will have some button events. First row is not specified for the moment, recording and arm, solo and mute. Let's see how this can be configured in grid editor. And here we are, EN16. Let's start with the button events. So this is going to be mute. I wish to switch this button to toggle because now it's in momentary. And this is how I do it. I add a button settings configuration block and hit toggle. Now, if I'm changing here, then you can already see that it's in toggle and the LED value, because it reads the current value of this button uh, we are physically on, it will work automatically. So there is no other changes. There are no other changes to be made. Now, when it comes to MIDI and toggle, it's uh, important to remember that um, different DAWs handle um, MIDI common messages differently when it comes to the same notes uh, sent to a DAW. Because when I'm having a note on command and I send rapidly uh, multiple um, MIDI uh, information to the DAW, it could detect it as hanging notes or just uh, faulty, jittery uh, something. So we have to change the command to control change and this way the DAW will detect that it's a legitimate toggle data sent in. Let's try it out and come here and map this one here. Okay, we are in async. If I'm focusing here, you can see that this, uh, this one isn't on the same base. So you have to pretty much just uh, get it right. Now I have it on and this one is also on. Now map it. And Ableton magically gets it together. So that's it, we have a toggle. And this will stay the same with this project uh, forever basically. Even if I switch pages or, or uh, interact with my mouse, you see? it catches it and it will work. So, now we got this button in toggle mode and mapped in, but let's match the colors as well. Get back to grid editor and let's select the init and let color with the layer one and 255, 255, zero. And now it's yellow-ish. The color isn't perfect. Even when I'm turning this off, you can see that there will be some kind of LED light uh, dimming through. That's because there is uh, basically a default beautify setting on all of the controllers where all the LEDs have a minimum value at a non-zero value. So you have to call the let color minimum um, function which can be read up here on the blog and you have to call this let color minimum on the specific layer and zero out the minimum values of an LED. Then it will go pitch black and there won't be any light coming out. Now I'm doing this kind of thing for this uh, row as well. Let's see what was the request. Solo, okay, then again we are calling the button settings, change it to toggle. Remember to change the command to control change as well, so there won't be any stack notes detected. And solo is uh, blue, so I will leave this as is, come up in Ableton, make sure that both are on and then select it and now 
they work as expected with both knobs. Cool. Now we have to map this one and it's going to be changed in the grid editor as well because we are looking for a toggle setting like that change it to control change and nice and this will receive a cool red color okay and let's focus okay we have this focused view and you see on and why don't i have any arm oh it's not mapped sorry so make sure it's it's probably off this time i hope i very much hope okay this is a rule and i missed this third time on and on and then map now it's working as expected for all the buttons let's see how the encoder events can be mapped and i believe in this setup instead of uh, the default absolute mode the relative setting would be better because then if you interact with this live set uh, with a mouse then you don't have to pay attention to the jumping values so let's go to grid editor and see how this can be set i'm also changing my view and we have to add an element settings encoder settings under the encoder event change it to relative pin offset ableton can handle both of these this one is added because uh, of uh, cubase and uh, probably some other daws aren't uh, very happy with either bin offset or seconds complementer very reading algorithms when it comes to encoders so let us know if you need anything else when it comes to relative settings but now we are with ableton so set this to bin offset for example and i can already see my mapping uh, not working as expected you also have to change in ableton by clicking on your mapping and changing this to linear bin offset get out of it and now it works as expected okay cool now that was the volume setting and i did not change anything else it's good as it is for now now let's also change the um other encoders as well because those are for pen and send b and send a and i believe there the absolute mode is also not necessary so just copy this and bring it here bring it here and bring it here okay now let's map it so i have this on pen also here I am changing to pin offset, come here, this is A, and bin offset, and this one, bin offset, come out of the MIDI settings, cool, 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 okay, what bothers me is that this thing is also mapped to the same CC as the uh, as the fader so we have to make some adjustments right here we have a problem so as you see if I'm interacting with this encoder event then the mute button is also affected and when I'm pressing the button then the channel jumps the problem is that by default the button and encoder event uses the same uh, number for sending out MIDI data on parameter 1 and by default the button event uses the note on messages so note on got uh, uh, as parameter 1 
uh, denote uh, value and in this case we changed the command for the button to control change as well so both the encoder and the button events send out the same MIDI data and what can we do about this for example change the channel configuration for each of the buttons and to do so I'm going to just add plus one to this channel configuration and I will have to remap my uh, arm recording mute and solo buttons in Ableton and they will be on channel 2 or a different channel based on however I switch my pages. Let's just do this for now. Okay, commit and plus one and here local variables plus one. Okay, local variables plus one. Okay variables plus one commit okay and come back here and I'm going to remove my button mappings make sure all of them are turned on because that's how it goes these are also turned now off and now on and this is the red one so this goes here this is the yellow one, this goes here. I believe this should be on as well and use it like this. On, off, let's see, is it in focus? Okay, it works. And now it doesn't interact with my other controls because as you see on the MIDI settings tab, you, those are on different channel as well. So that's for one column, both for the encoder event and the button event. This has to be repeated and uh, that's what you can uh, see currently how I'm repeating this step by copying and pasting the various uh, event configurations to another control element. I'm going to just uh, export this configuration as a profile. To do so, I'm coming here into the profile view and I say this is the EN16 um, Ableton um, um, channel control or chair control and basics. I could add the normal description but that's it for now and this profile is saved. I have my default selected folder under documents so I'm just going to share this uh, profile probably on the website or in the discord channel and you can try it out, upload it onto your module. This video was uh, recorded with uh, Ableton 1. Point, I mean, uh, with Ableton 10 and Grid Editor uh, 1.2.6 and Grid Firmware as well. So it's pretty up to date. So let me know how this goes and and how 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 you like this. Bye.